I think it's sort of like going to America back in the 1400s. It's, it's totally crazy, but I think it will happen. And if you recall, those first trips to America were commercial voyages. People were looking for gold in India and stuff like gold and spices, perhaps. Uh, one of the big commercial drivers is going to be all the, the minerals in the asteroids. And whether it's Christopher Columbus or the Internet or all these things, they're, they're driven commercially, and then they have a huge impact way beyond what that original commercial impetus was. I think we'll turn outer space into inner space. But yeah, we, we are probably going to... Well, there's a reasonable argument that we're going to create a clean, useful, life-supporting atmosphere on Mars sooner than we will on Earth, because on Mars we have no politics and we have no incumbent establishment. So it's easier to experiment there and get it right. On Earth, the moment you start changing things around, you you run into people who like it better the way it was or what have you. Probably this this century. It would take 30 or 40 years to terraform Mars. Get a couple of billionaires to fund it because the government won't. And then it's, it's going to end up being more biology than, it, we're not going to go put you know, giant air blowers on Mars. We're, what you need to do is genetically engineer plants of various kinds that will take the minerals on Mars and take the oxygen out of the, the compounds, the oxidized compounds, and stick it into the atmosphere and figure out what level of different kinds of gases you need to make it breathable to humans and to have the right it's sort of light sensitivity that you will capture the right amount of solar energy to make the temperature habitable and so forth. Mm -hmm.